you heard all those people on the internet telling you that you need to do more and be more and get more done? It's this idea that if we leave lockdown having not written a novel or learnt a language, that we've somehow failed. That is a toxic productivity message right there. I'm Dr. Julie Smith. I'm a psychologist and I provide daily videos on psychology, mental health and motivation across social media. Toxic productivity is this obsession with radical self-improvement above all else. And the result is that no matter how productive you are, you're always left with that guilty feeling of not having done more. Number one is working to the extent that it harms your health or your relationships or your general well-being. Number two is having relentless and unrealistic expectations for yourself so that you feel like you're constantly failing to be enough. Number three is restlessness. So when it is time to rest, you find it difficult to relax or difficult to sleep. We also have a wider cultural problem in our society. That pressure to be constantly available online, on social media, means that the world has an almost constant view into our lives. And that compounds that pressure to appear a certain way to family, friends or potential employers. We are bombarded with adverts every day that encourage us to measure our self-worth based on our productivity. If companies can get you to obsess about maximising your productivity, then they can sell you a whole host of products that you don't need. Number one is recognise that you are a human being just like the rest of us. And you are enough as you are today. Without top exam results, without a flash career, without a new designer outfit, you are enough, as you are today. Number two is recognise that self-care is not an indulgence. It is essential for good physical and mental health. Sometimes human beings just need to rest. And number three is have some non-negotiables on your self-care list. Certain things that no matter how busy you get, you always do. Maybe you always make time for lunch or maybe you always keep to your exercise routine. Do those things and your mental health will thank you for it. Ultra productivity and laziness are not the only options here. This is a really difficult time for lots of people. So go easy on the self-criticism. Try talking to yourself with encouragement, support and kindness, the way that you would talk to a friend who is feeling that way. This is not a productivity contest. If we can find a balance between doing some meaningful activity and self-care, then we are doing enough. So what is that one thing that you could do right now to help you feel better? Well, you could choose joy. So you pick one thing to do for no other reason than you might enjoy it. So when you make your to-do lists, you add on things that you do just for pleasure. When the world feels overwhelming and you're not sure what to do or how to feel, Choose joy. 